on the right side, 17480 S Century Drive. And here we are at the Thousand Trails. And check in this way. Looks like we're going to have to block up the works because this trailer has been blocked up the works. I think I should go past him and park? No, I'll just park right behind him. I don't know if you can see him or not. Or whatever they are. Look at how cool these little guys are. Whoop, down the hole. <laughs> There's one right there. Sun River RV Resort, Thousand Trails in Bend. We tried for three weeks to get reservations at this Thousand Trails. So just because you're a Thousand Trails member doesn't mean that you're going to be able to get the reservation that you want. Now, we wanted to come in here and spend four days. Um, like I said, for three weeks we tried and we were finally able to get two days in a row. So we took that. We came out here and had our two days, and at the last day we went up to the front and I said, Hey, is there some place where we could just park? Maybe no hookups? I understand that you're really full, really busy. And that's how we found the site that we're at right now. This is no hookups. They call it overflow. They allow you to come out here and camp, which, as you know, is perfectly fine with us. Ben Sun River does not have sewer hookups at any of their sites. Most of their sites are 30 amp. They do have some 50 amp sites. Um, all sites do have water, unless you're in overflow. They do have two dump stations here, and we were really needing to do laundry because the thousand trails that we have stopped at since, I don't know, California, really don't have sewer, which is kind of surprising. I don't understand why, but it seems like out west they don't have a whole lot of sewer. So what we did was we came in, dumped, went to our site, hooked up to the water and the electric, did our laundry, filled our tanks, disconnected, went over to the dump station, dumped, came back, rinse, repeat. Just keep doing that till the laundry's done, which is what we did. So we managed to get all that done. Still at the Ben Thousand Trails, uh, we got word of a cave, so we're gonna go check it out. So this is the entrance to the cave. After you go through the orientation, they give you a lot of information about uh, bats and diseases and stuff. And then they let you go down in here. And this is the entrance. It's gonna pick up. Shine up on the wall. Yeah, it picks up absolutely nothing. You can see people with other lights. We're inside the cave. Oh god, that's bright. Alright, we are inside the cave. We've been in here walking around. I can't walk very far this way because the light's in my face. But without lights, you're not going to see anything. 42 degrees in here. Very cool. Look at these walls. It is pretty neat. Okay, got that on camera. If you look at the walls, at the roof of the cave, you can see all this stuff growing on it. It's very cool. This is going to be one of the shorter parts. The Rangers was telling us that there was an area where we would have to duck down. It's a mile long in here, and then a mile out. I do not have to duck. Yeah, Donna didn't have to duck. I'm too short already. This is where her shortness and her little T-Rex arms is coming in real handy. <laughs> Alright, this is walking in the cave. We're currently on a down slope. Ooh, this is low. This is probably the thinnest that we've been in yet. Yeah, the camera's not picking up very much at all, man. We'd have to have some much bigger lights. Okay. Oh, very cool. There's a little cave up there. Oh, this is tube in a tube, duh. Yeah. It has another tube up top. So it's got one up there. Yeah. Very oh, neat. This is really thin. Yeah, it's cool. I like it. Fast enough. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm going to die. <laughs> and there you have it. End of the cave. They said a mile. It's like a mile and a quarter. It's really short, really, really short.
Well, now we're on our way back. You're probably tired of seeing these uh, walls, but that's really the only thing that I can film. Careful. So, na 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 na. And here we are, almost out. That's the exit up there. This is definitely a cool hike. Highly recommend it. Also recommend rent their flashlights. And bring Don't bring your own. Yeah, definitely bring a jacket. 42, year round. Pretty sure I already said that. I'm probably gonna say it again. Oh, look at that. So cool. That's my breath, by the way. Just so you know the information, the orientation that we went through, one of the main things that they talked about is a disease that's killing millions of bats across the U.S. Um, it's coming from the northeastern United States and it's spread into the central at a pretty high rate. The disease is called white nose syndrome and it is a disease of hibernating bats. White nose syndrome is caused by a fungus. Um, this fungus can get on your clothes, on your gear, your boots, your flashlights, whatever you bring into a cave. And then if you go to another cave, you stand a chance on spreading that disease to even more bats. So what they're saying now is basically don't wear anything or bring anything that you've had in another cave into their cave and vice versa. Now there is a way to sterilize the stuff, but of course the best way is to not bring it. The last thing about the fungus is that it will stay on your gear for 10 years. Washing it, drying it, does not get rid of these spores. The Bend area has got a lot of stuff to do around here. They've got the Deschutes National Forest, they've got the Newberry Volcanic National Monument, they've got the uh, Lava River Cave, which is insane. We went there today. Donna also has family here, her cousin Jennifer, her husband, and her two kids. And we went out to their place, had dinner, fantastic time. Um, the next day we went out to Twin Lakes Resort and watched the kids swim around out there in the lake and man that is a busy busy place. The campsite itself is well maintained. They have a pool. There's a river here. We haven't even gone and looked at it. Um, there is so much around Bend to do. We're thinking seriously about uh, next year making this a two-week stay here because it's fantastic. Now the temperatures in the next three days, you're supposed to be getting up to 90. So, I think we're going to be moving on. Just left Bend Sun River. That'll do it. We ended up with three nights there, two nights with power, one night without. Time to move on.